Welcome back, and uh, let's get started right away, like we always do. Um, last time we were looking at exploring finding fractions in a set of things, and this time we're going to find a fraction in one set. And so I have some counters here, and I could arrange these counters to make equal groups, and let's say I do do that. Um, maybe like that. Maybe like so. And you can see that I'm going to have three equal groups of four here. Each group is one third of 12. One group is a third of 12. All right, so fractions can show equal parts of a set. And so if I was to divide these purple circles, um, maybe I'll use red here, you know, divide them into three equal groups, I could say that they're into thirds, right? Three equal groups is thirds. And in each group, there's two counters. And so I've divided this set of six counters into three equal groups, which is a third each. You know, this is one third, one third, and one third. Um, and so there's two in each. So if I look at just these two, I am saying one third of that group of six is two. And if I know one third, I could add these two thirds and a two thirds. I don't know if you know this is a third plus a third. Two thirds of six equals four. And altogether, three thirds of uh, a group of six here is six. Another way to look at this, if you you could use counters, but another way you could look at this is if you want to find um, six here and I want to know a third of it, I could divide by three. And if I divide by three, I get two. And this tells me that two equals one third of six. Let's look at a way of finding three fifths of 10. And the denominator tells us that we are counting fifths. Again, the denominator is the bottom number, three fifths of 10. This denominator shows us that we're going to count fifths. So we're going to divide these 10 counters into five equal groups to show fifths. So this is one group of five, five equal groups, two, three, four, and five. And so five equal groups. And so I can see that I have two in each group. And so like we just said, one, each group is one fifth. One fifth one-fifth, one-fifth, and one-fifth. One-fifth of ten is two. Two are, um, so two equals one-fifth of ten. And so if I have three-fifths, I need to have these three guys, let's say. And how many counters are in that group? Six. So three-fifths of ten equals six. And like we did before, another way of looking at it is I, I take my 10 and I divide by the denominator for one-fifth. That's going to tell us one-fifth and I get two. And so if I know that two is one-fifth, I could add groups of fifths and know that I'm adding two each time. I'm going to get you to try one. Um, using counters or drawing circles, counters, I'd like you to show three-quarters or three-fourths of 16. Pause it, come back when you're ready. Okay, so we're gonna need 16 counters, and we were asked to put them into groups of four because they're quarters. And so I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Each one of these groups is one quarter. One quarter. Each one of these groups is one quarter. And one quarter 
of 16 is four. One quarter is four. We were asked to find three quarters. And so here's one quarter, two quarters, and three quarters. If I count these all up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, I find that three quarters of 16 equals 12. And to go back to that other way without drawing circles, I could take 16, I could divide by the denominator, and this will tell me one quarter, and that is four. And so uh, if I know what one four is one quarter and I need three quarters, I need to add three groups of four, and that equals 12. All right, there you have it, folks. We're looking at finding fractions in a group and we're given a fraction and we have a set number of things and we're asked to find well how many is three quarters of 16 or how many is two fifths of 15 etc so in life math happens take care